everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Andrea and this is the first year that I'm very officially participating in Victober I have been doing it quietly for the last two years and I am super excited to finally be like in it um, this year Victober is hosted by four lovely people who are kind of the experts on Victorian literature on booktube Katie from books and things Ange from beyond the pages Lucy from Lucy the Reader and Kate Howe from her channel Kate Howe and they are all wonderful and I'll link all of their channels below and in the last little while they've all kind of been putting out videos with so many recommendations that I just have to emphasize how wonderful all of their videos are. Watch them. For those of you who might not know, if by any chance you don't, Victober is a reading club or a readathon for the entire month of October where we read only Victorian literature. Now usually there's challenges set up and there's about five. This year the five challenges are read a book written by the author that's a favorite of one of the hosts. So we have Charlotte Bronte, Elizabeth Gaskell, Thomas Hardy, and Charles Dickens to choose from. Then we must read a book with a proper noun in the title, so a pr place or a person's name. Then either a book that was published in the first 10 years of the Victorian period, so 1837 to 1847, or in the last 10 years, so 1891 to 1901. So that's another one. The number four is uh, read a book written by a woman under a pseudonym. And the fifth one is do a book to film adaptation. Um, now, uh, the sixth thing that's kind of happening is that there will also be a read along in group of Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a book I've been meaning to read for a while, but it's pretty long and I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it in this Victober and I'm going to save this for another time personally but if you would like to participate um, there will be links and this is just something that's happening this Victober so what will I be reading during this month now I'm going to do a few cheats where I will group a few books together because I have many other books that I'm trying to get through but one of the things that I do tend to do each Victober is I like to read a non-fiction book about the Victorian period. So last year I read this book, I think it was called My Victorian Life, and it was just this contemporary couple trying to live as Victorians now. And um, it's just something that complements reading these books so well, and I don't want to wait till non-fiction November for them. So this month I'm kind of debating between reading Victoria the Queen, which is a biography of Queen Victoria, or Victorians Undone, which is a non-fiction book kind of split up in five parts, and it looks at five body parts, kind of, but it's about the Victorian era. So for example, George Eliot's hand is one chapter. So um, this is something else that I'm considering reading. So I'm kind of debating between these two. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, as of right now, I think I am leaning a little bit more towards Victorians Undone. The first book that I'll be reading, and this one I'm super excited about, is North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm reading this for the challenge of reading one person's favorite author, and Elizabeth Gaskell is one of them. And I am also reading this as a buddy reads with one of my favorite people on the internet, Claudia from Spinster's Library. And I will link her channel down below, but we are super pumped to read this book and to just discuss it. And Claudia has such wonderful input on literature in general. Be buddy reading this with her in the middle of October is kind of like my ultimate dream come true. So I'm just super excited to read this with her. And I will be pairing this up into two challenges. The first being a favorite of one of the hosts, so Elizabeth Gaskell, and two, a book to film adaptation. I will be watching the mini series with uh, Richard Armitage. So that's what I'll be reading for this. The second book that I've chosen to read is um, Scenes from a Clerical Life by George Eliot. And this is for the written under a pseudonym. George Eliot is obviously the pseudonym of Marianne Evans, but I've been meaning to read this one for a while and it's just tiny and cute and 
it'll just be nice to kind of go back to a George Eliot. Uh, I haven't read her in a while, so this will be great. For the one I've chosen for the last 10 years of the Victorian period is this book that I recently came across. It was published in 1892 and it's a collaboration project that kind of blew my mind and I can't believe that I haven't heard about this before. So it's called The Fate of Fenella and it's a book written by 24 different authors, including Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Bram Stoker, many other um, authors of the time. And the cool thing is that they didn't kind of talk to each other while they were writing this. So you have these very disjointed chapters, but I haven't read it yet, so I can't really talk about it. But it's something that I'll be reading for this challenge and I'm really excited to see what I find. I found the annotated version of this on Kindle, so I'll be following along in that text and hopefully it will illuminate some of the difficulties or the differences, I'm hoping. As for the proper noun, I think I will be reading Carmilla by Sheridan Le Fanu. This will be um, a vampire read and it will be very appropriate for just Halloween and Victober combined and it's a good it's a good place to be in October, I think. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I will be gone for a week of October. I'll be out at sea and I'll try to read something sort of nautical and detached from the whole Halloween and Victober thing. So I will try to divide this up in the three weeks of October that I do have available to me. That's the TBR I have. And unfortunately it's a little small and I am sorry for that but it's the best I can do with the time allotted. I'm very much looking forward to see what other people will be reading as they're announcing their TBRs. And if you have any recommendations for some of these for other people, like please share them in the comments. Or if you've read some of the ones I've listed and you'd like to put your two cents in, please, please let me know. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.